It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. Well, surviving R. Kelly, that docuseries on Lifetime broke ratings records for Lifetime in many different ways. Now it got 1.9 million total viewers on January 3rd, which, by the way, was my birthday. Shout out to everybody that wished me a happy birthday. And that was Lifetime's best performance in more than two years in all key demos. They said there was over 743,000 total interactions on social media, which was their largest social premiere for any series or movie in network history. Now, there were a lot of people that were interviewed on this docuseries. It took place over six different episodes. I watched all six episodes. So let's get into a little bit of of what happened on there. Now, there were a lot of people that saw what R. Kelly was doing, but didn't do anything to step in. Craig Williams, who worked with R. Kelly, also discusses how R. Kelly would meet these very young girls. I was traveling through Hyde Park at one time and I stopped at a store and Rob was driving by and he was on his way to Kenwood High School. And I heard a lot about Rob going to Kenwood High School to to hang out and I always wondered what the heck is he doing hanging around the high school. He's left high school many years ago and uh, that's all I could say on that one because I don't know but I heard that you know he was picking up a lot of a lot of kids from the school. That's so disgusting. And what's even more disgusting is everybody else in that documentary that's seen what was happening, that knew what was happening, and did absolutely positively nothing. All of you up mother effers are disgusting. Now, they also, in this documentary, talked about how he would target these young women. He would go to the mall, he would go to the schools, and he would, whoever made eye contact with him or gave him a little smile, those are the people he would target. Even his security would go over, give the girl his number, he would stay in contact. And a lot of people I saw on social media were blaming other people for R. Kelly's behavior. But the thing is that he was an adult. He knew what he was doing was wrong. He was trying to cover things up. He was forging documents. All kinds of things were going on with him. And the people around him were, yes, enabling him. But you cannot blame these young girls who were the victims. And even if they weren't young girls, if you watch the docuseries, you can see they had all kinds of specialists and psychologists psychologists on there discussing what R. Kelly was doing mentally to these young women. Very abusive mentally. And he was physically abusive as well, according to the women who were interviewed in this docuseries. One in particular scene that had a lot of people talking on social media that was heartbreaking was watching a mom who was trying to save her daughter, Dominique, from R. Kelly's hotel. My plan is just to go into the hotel. I know she's there. God didn't leave me here and then take it away. I came too close. Come on, we leaving? Come on. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Such an effing predator. And I mean, he played, he played on weakness. He played on the fact that these girls wanted to be stars and he knew what he was doing. I mean, he was R. Kelly for a lot of these young girls. And there's all kinds of studies that show mm-hmm. how your brain develops and how you make decisions. As a young girl, he used, uh, with these young girls, he used his position, he used his fame to draw them and lure them in. And then he would slowly, little by little, do certain things like, all right, call, call me, me daddy, daddy in the bedroom. Then it was call me daddy outside of the bedroom. Then it was, okay, you have to ask permission to use the bathroom. You need and permission that, to eat. It's and he would cut them off so they couldn't even speak to each other. And nobody really understood what was going on. A lot of these girls he was grooming from a very young age. Not I mean, not to blame the, the victims or blame the parents, but mm-hmm. where, where were the parents? Like, that, that's, that's the one thing I was kind of confused. Like, I have three kids, three girls, I should say, and I, there's no way I could even halfway allow my 15, 16, 17-year-old to go without talking to me for months at a time. Like, I, I just... I, I I just couldn't. It was well. Just some of these parents, like Dominique's mom, didn't even know that her daughter was going over R. Kelly's house. She was mm. going with her friend, and so she's thinking she's hanging out with her girlfriend. And in reality, she found out later on that her daughter was at R. Kelly's house. That's crazy. And y'all call me crazy for watching my daughter and putting monitors on my daughter's phone and on her car. Like y'all call me crazy for that? No, that's the reason why. Because there's predators, there's crazy people that will take advantage of your kids and your kids being just just child and just children, just have no clue, and it is so freaky. He is now, a monster. we'll be talking about this all throughout the morning, but R. Kelly is saying that he did not watch the Lifetime show at all, just like he said he didn't watch the sex tape um, when he was in court. Now, he's saying that he's uh, going to sue everybody. 
that actually is involved and did interviews and all of those things uh, on the documentary. So we'll see what happens with that. But that's what his claim is, that he's going to sue everyone. Uh, and in the next hour, we'll discuss more. Whooped. And of course, we want you guys to weigh in on what you thought about this as well. Now, in other news, Latoya Luckett and Tomicus Walker, congratulations to them. They just had their daughter. So congratulations. Congrats to Baby them. Baby Gianna is Luckett's first child and Walker's second. Um, and Kim Kardashian and Kanye West, according to People Magazine, are expecting their fourth child via surrogate. So that's the plan for them. They've been talking about this for quite some time. They already have Chicago, who's one, Saint, who's three, and North, who's five and a half. Mm -hmm. So once again, another baby. Congratulations to them. But we'll talk more about Kanye West uh, later on. I'm Angela Yee, and that's your rumor report.